That's the best Iskender I've had in the UK. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you a lovely little Turkish restaurant. This is a place that I've been recommended to go to a lot. I hear that it's delicious and authentic. I just think this one's got potential. I've checked it out on Google. It looks fantastic. So we're uh, very excited. Guys, so I've just come from the Tesco car park. That's where I'm parked. And uh, I think it's here, the Yorum. Okay guys, so I've literally uh, just come inside. First impressions are very good, it's very nice. I like the Turkish music in the background. The actual restaurant itself looks quite spacious. Let me uh, just get myself comfortable, a little bit familiarized with this menu so we know exactly what we're gonna get. I'm thinking we'll get a lamb iskender because that's one of my favorite Turkish dishes. So definitely gonna try that. We'll get the lamb dona beyti, which I think I've had in Turkey before, but um, we'll see. And then this bad boy right here. We're gonna get lots of meat. It's gonna be mixed platter for two. Lots of good food, hopefully. So yeah, let's wait for it to come out. I'm very hungry and I love Turkish food. So I'm expecting pretty good things. The bar is pretty high. And if you're new here, guys, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload three food related videos per week. So if you like foodie content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have a look at this. This is a mixed platter for two, absolutely massive. So we've got a ton of stuff going on. I'll break down everything individually, like for example, the wings and the kofta, and I think there's some bulgur wheat under there as well. We've got just a lot of stuff to look at. And then um, they gave me a couple of dips as well on the side with some Turkish bread and a really fresh looking salad. Lots of stuff to uh, break down. This looks great. This looks really, really good. So I'm just gonna crack straight on with this. We have more food coming as well. Slightly intimidated where to start because this thing is absolutely massive. I mean, to give you guys context, look at that. It's ginormous. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try the Adana Kofta first. This looks fantastic. Love that you can see the little spicing inside, the herbs, all that kind of stuff. That looks great. That is absolutely delicious. The herbs, the spicing, the tender meat. Got a really good meat to fat ratio because it's got a really good amount of indulgence there. It's kind of soft and tender. It's not too chewy. I could just keep eating that to be honest, but we have to move on, right? We have to move on. I'm spotting some Donna down there. So we're definitely gonna try that, but let's try this first. So I think this is actually the chicken kofta. This is such a spectacle. I really, really enjoy it. We're gonna try the chicken kofta. We're actually gonna try some of their dips as well. Copters are getting a hay man. Really enjoy those. This chili sauce is lovely. Not quite as spicy as some others, but the flavor profile that's delicious. It's not made to be super spicy, it's got a subtle spicing, which I think works really, really well with this kind of food because it doesn't overpower the meat. I love all the little pieces of veg, the little chilies on the side. Just add something to the actual meal, you know. I think I'll be civilized and use a fork now. Um, let's go for, let's try the donna, the little bit of bulgur wheat. Bit of chili in there as well. I mean, that's good and it's tasty, I think it's soft. Like a little bit more of a distinct lamb flavor would work really, really well there. It's not on the level I don't think of the kofters, but still tasty. Guys, they give you these little pieces of bread on the side, like a tortilla. So what I'll do is I'm actually gonna turn that into like a cute little parcel before we move on to the other piece. Made my little parcel. Let's put a little bit of sauce in there as well. That looks awesome. I cannot wait to try that. At this point, guys, I'm just having fun. I've got a bit of donna in there, a bit of chicken, a bit of bulgur wheat, uh, a chicken shish in there as well. This is taking me straight back to Turkey. I'm gonna add a bit of chili in there as well, or like a pepper, maybe. This is such a sort of a theatrical kind of thing to have. There's so much meat going on. The food quality is so good. I think if you came with friends, this is enough for three people for sure. So I'm just going to quickly show you the Iskender kebab, which looks fantastic. And then we've got the lamb beti as well. So we'll have that uh, in a second. I'm sure I'm pronouncing some of this stuff wrong, but please do bear with me. I'm trying my best. Let's now go for, oh, let's try chicken wing. These look great. I like the charring on those and they, they feel soft. They feel soft and juicy. I think they've been grilled to perfect. Perfection. This guy's is just a fantastic kind of like a mixed grill for two. I think this was 32.50. Um, I'll put the menu in the description. Something to note actually is they don't take card, which is I think a bit strange for a restaurant that's not super cheap. So this whole meal is probably going to cost maybe 50, 60 pounds, and I don't like to carry cash around with me. So eh, that's a little bit of a knock, but the food is fantastic. I'm just loving these little 
pieces of tortilla or bread rather on the side because you could just make a little parcel of goodness with some of the salad some onion maybe some meat can you guys believe i almost missed the lamb ribs and they look great you guys have suggested a great place because honestly this plow i'm blown away but i really really enjoy it not many criticisms really apart from maybe the don i think could be a little bit better if i'm being completely frank the rest i'm really enjoying the lamb flavor coming through but lamb can be quite overpowering this is kind of perfect it's got a good amount of salt which i enjoy i quite enjoy salty food that works well you're going to struggle i think to find better this is as good as the food i've had i think in turkey alhamdulillah i think i've been maybe 12 or 13 times so i've been a, a few times i do enjoy turkish food this is as good as it was uh, when i've had it almost anywhere almost anywhere in turkey let's move on to the other food because there's plenty to go but what a start what a start i'm just sad to put this to a side i am sad to put this to a side it's pretty heavy so usually it's like lamb or like a lamb donna which this certainly is under some croutons with some tomato sauce and i think it's usually like a goat butter but uh this butter will do i can't tell if it is or isn't if i'm being frank but this looks good this looks good if this is half as good as the plat i'll be very happy so let's just tuck straight into it oh we've got big old pieces of donna there what i love is the bread at the bottom usually gets covered in sauce gets kind of soggy but absorbs all the flavor and usually tastes delicious because you know it has like some of the sauce it has some of the fat from the meat a little bit of the uh, yogurt butter which we're going to dip onto now that's the best iskender i've had in the uk for sure I did go to Germany recently. They've got a really big Turkish population. They love kebabs over there. And I had a great one there. So it's not as good as that one, but this is getting, this is very good. This is very good. This is the best one I have in the UK. It is getting a hey man, for sure. I've had enough to say, if you like Turkish food, make sure you try this place. I've still got another dish, so please don't go anywhere. But I think I've had enough to know that I like this restaurant a lot. I've had a lot of the food now, lots of different meats i've had a couple of different dishes sides all that kind of stuff and i've enjoyed it a lot so i think this is called the lamb beatty I've, I've actually had this a lot but i never pronounced it correctly so i believe we've got some minced lamb inside it's like a tortilla on the outside that's kind of cooked baked and then you put this lovely tomato sauce and coriander on top that's essentially uh the dish if i'm simplifying it oh i didn't actually clock the yogurt at the bottom Let's give that a go then. Let's put it all together, get an all-encompassing bite. May have to cut it in half though, because they're quite chunky. They are, they are quite chunky. That one I don't enjoy as much as the other food. I don't think it's as flavorful, if I'm being frank. I think the mints could do with a bit more flavor. A bit light on the seasoning for me. And there's a lot of butter there, which is not going really well with the tomato sauce because with the iskende, there's a lot of tomato sauce. That acidity balances out the butter. On this dish, maybe not so much. So that one is not for me, but the first two dishes I absolutely loved. And do make sure to try the actual Turkish bread. That's really, really nice. The dips are good, the olives are great. Then we've got a lovely fresh salad here as well. Look at that, fantastic. That, with that, lovely. There's so much food here, I'm gonna have to pay and then get it packed up, so I've actually got another review to do. But let me give you guys my final thoughts in the car. That was Yoram, how good was that? A little bit disappointed about the last dish I had the beti. I didn't love that if I'm being honest, but if you're looking for authentic Turkish food, specifically sort of grilled meats and iskender, maybe a donna, that kind of stuff, you cannot go wrong with that. I dropped a couple of hay mans for a reason. I really, really enjoyed that joy. If you guys want to see some more restaurant reviews in Batley, just click here. And if you want to see some of the best kebabs in the entire world, guaranteed, just click here, guys. Like, follow, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in that next one. Bye, 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 b